wake up at about 8.30, not all Cambridge students are early risers, I promise you that, and I say good morning to Barbara. I open my curtains onto this wonderful view of a concrete accommodation block. I might live in a building from 1613, but I didn't last year. I then make myself a little coffee and some cereal and start planning my day. I usually give myself about three tasks a day and then I write down my contact hours and keep them in this cute little notebook. I then get on with editing some videos in the morning, but today it was a very special day because I actually remembered to make myself lunch the night before. So I grabbed that and packed my bag and headed off to Sidgwick where most of the humanities are based. The views on this walk never get old, I promise you. Today I decided to go to the law library because just like lawyers, it is cold, corporate and intimidating and that makes me feel very motivated. For legal reasons, that was a joke. Get it? Legal reason? Okay, okay, forget the jokes, let's just move on. I started working on a data question for an upcoming supervision. For this one, I was given data on Korean speakers learning German and I had to compare that to German first language speakers and say what that means for acquisition theory. I then checked out a very cute charity bake sale they had on in the law library, bought myself a cake and at my lunch while going over the lecture notes for that data question. After lunch, it was time to head to my department for a supervision. Now, despite going to this university for two years, I still have no idea what the layout of this building is and I'm convinced nobody does. So after getting mildly lost, I made it to my supervision where me and one other student discussed with an academic some essays we'd written. This week, it was on connectionist models of morphology. Get wrecked, Rumble Hart and McClelland. I only believe half of what you said. Right afterwards, I headed straight to a lecture which was conveniently next door. Now most of our lectures are an hour long, but this one was two hours, and so despite the topic being opacity, I have no idea what that is because I tuned out halfway through. Just after the lecture, me and my friends headed to the cafe to pretend to work, and then I headed back to college. Once again, the views were stunning, they always are. I made myself a cheeky coffee so I would stay awake and headed to the college library. Here I went through some lecture notes from last week's syntax lecture on quantifier raising, which was very sexy, and then went back to my flat to make dinner. I promised these meatballs tasted better than they looked, and I ate them while going through a pre-recorded lecture on semantics. I then snuggled into bed and went straight to sleep. That was a violent lie. Instead, I hosted pre's for a club night with a bunch of my friends, and then got horrendously drunk with Megan as evidenced by this round of Jaeger bombs, and I finally got into bed just after four when the club closed. I would love to tell you I filmed this clip then, but I didn't even remember to take my makeup off. So yes, I did pre-record this, and no, I will not apologize for how embarrassing that is. And that's what a day in life of a Cambridge University student actually looks like. Um, I'm a second year, no, I'm a third year student now. That's scary. <laughs> I'm a third year student uh, studying linguistics, if you haven't already guessed. Um, and before I applied to Cambridge, I was very worried that there was going to be no social life and no nightlife. I can tell you I have spent enough time and enough money in that cafe on the lecture site and on Jaeger bombs uh, to tell you that there definitely is a social life and a nightlife outside of studying at Cambridge. I also maybe should have studied a bit more last term. But that's besides the point. Um, if you want to know anything more in depth about what it's like to be at Cambridge, um, I do videos every week, allegedly, on this channel, um, but every moment of my life in Cambridge is documented and will be on this channel eventually when I get around to it, um, so feel free to check out my other videos. If you want to know anything in particular, any specific questions or specific topics, feel free to comment them uh, and give you a comment back or I can make a whole video on it when I find the time and the motivation to do the channel properly. Um, but I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was informative and hopefully I'll see you in another video, but thank you for watching. Bye!